everybody and this is our last video whereby we've looked at common foot disorders and the sequence I want to just focus on systemic causes of foot problems. There are things that can go wrong with our bodies that can manifest themselves in their feet with a, an array of issues and uh, I just want to touch on some of those with you this evening. So if we take diabetes as the first and probably the most commonly known of the systemic issues that um, uh, can cause problems with feet. We see a lot of patients with diabetes. Um, diabetic feet can develop all sorts of issues from loss of sensation, loss of circulation, uh, ability to fight infection, um, and uh, changes in the skin, the soft tissues, and the bones. So basically, basically anything can go wrong as a result of uh, diabetes in your feet. And it's important that we assess those, uh, those feet to see what, uh, what risk status they are for the patient um, and we run through an array of tests to identify a risk status and then arrange the appropriate management plan based on that risk status. Some of those checks can be done uh, NHS um, but advanced tests may well be uh, only available from, um, from private practitioners like myself. I spent eight years as diabetic foot specialist so I'm completely aware of the issues that are faced by those with diabetes and the, uh, the problems that we have of keeping their feet in as good condition as possible. And, uh, and the, the, probably the, the thing that's the, the most troublesome is diabetic foot ulceration, um, is whereby they actually develop a, a wound in the foot that they struggle to get to heal. And that might, they might struggle because of loss of sensation or because of loss of circulation. Fortunately, at our clinic, we have some advanced tools to help us, not just in, uh, in my knowledge and experience, but also uh, with regard to uh, access to footwear, whether it's bespoke footwear or special footwear, um, special insoles, but, and also high intensity laser therapy, which is great for helping to get ulcers to heal. Moving on from, from diabetes, um, we then go into other uh, problems with, um, uh, with circulation that you can have. Uh, peripheral arterial disease, uh, commonly linked to forms of cardiovascular disease. So um, issues with your, your heart uh, and your circulation can manage to best themselves in the feet. That can lead to uh, pain, um, uh, rest pain, walking pain, or, but also um, painful ulcerations like with the diabetic foot. There's uh, various assessment tools we can use to identify the extent of any damage to the circulation. The peripheral circulation, we use things like um, a, a, a Doppler, uh, where we can uh, listen to the pulses and we can analyze the uh, ankle brachial pressure index and the toe brachial pressure index to identify how well these, uh, the blood flow is getting into the, into the toes themselves. Other circulatory issues that can develop uh, are to do with the venous system, which is the blood returning to the heart. And if, if there's an issue with the veins, then you can end up with um, pooling of uh, blood and, um, and fluid in the feet, so you get swelling. And also issues with the lymph drainage system can cause issues with, uh, with swelling in the feet. And, and those swellings can cause tissue breakdown, um, and skin irritation, skin rashes, that all can be problematic to patients. And we need to put them on the appropriate treatment plan to manage those. One of the things that can affect circulation in the feet is, uh, is smoking. And um, we spend some time educating our patients who do smoke around the dangers associated with that for their circulation and the higher risk of developing those ulcers or even leading on to, to gangrene if they've got other comorbidities, uh, for instance, like diabetes. There's medications that you can take that will affect your, uh, your feet. Um, there's, uh, there's something called prednisolone, which is a steroid drug that will affect the, can affect the skin and the fatty tissues on the feet. Um, there's also treatments for uh, systemic cancers that will have an effect on the feet and on the, on the nails. And of course, cancer itself will have an effect on overall health uh, and general well-being. Um, and that can, can cause issues with the feet as well, um, either with primary cancers within the feet or metastases uh, from cancers elsewhere uh, occurring in the feet. So it, it's important for you to be assessed and um, have your feet checked regularly to make sure that nothing's going wrong with them, 
make sure you're on a, a, a good management plan to keep them in tip-top condition. Autoimmune diseases are another one that we we'll regularly see, things like rheumatoid arthritis, uh, Raynaud's, um, uh, psoriatic arthritis, all these sorts of things can manifest themselves in the feet and cause problems for patients in the form of pain, discomfort, risk of ulceration. So if you've got any systemic conditions, they may well have an effect on the feet or the feet may well have an effect on them. So it's, um, it's something to be aware of and that's why I thought I'd share it with you in this final video. So I hope you've enjoyed the series of videos this week and thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.